By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim? Welcome to Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we have a match for you from the Frost Giant Cup and it's a round two game between Louis from the Netherlands on the left playing mono black against Antoine from Belgium on the right and I believe he's on a robots build and it's blue white with a splash of black. Uh, before we go to the game itself I'm just going to give a brief explanation of both of these decks. I don't have a deck photo but I do have some uh, key cards here that I'd like to show you and explain a little bit about how these decks work. Now if you'd like to go straight to the game you can do that as well. In the description below you will find a timestamp and by um, clicking on the timestamp it'll take you directly to the first game of this matchup. Okay so the first deck I would like to look at is the deck from Louis. It's um, your basic mono black deck and that means that you probably will see a dark ritual and a hypnotic specter as the ideal opening and uh, this deck also plays underworld dreams i'm not sure with how many underworld dreams louis plays i believe three but perhaps also a full play set um, another interesting card or actually the most interesting card in this deck i find uh, the witches the Kumbai witches and here you see the card itself so it's from the arabian nights it's for two black you get a one three creature which in itself is pretty good but the ability is very cool as well so it's kind of a timmy ability it's tapped to do one damage to any target and the opponent may also do one damage to any target you choose your target before the op opponent does but damage is inflicted simultaneously so um you know this is a pretty interesting ability having this in uh, in the color black i think is uh, i mean it's direct damage so it's a very handy card and i think it's a good choice from louis to actually play this in his deck now he's playing against antoine and he's playing with robots white blue splash black and control and that basically means that we will probably see some uh, suchis and some triskelions and we will also see of course the white removal in action uh, you know the set of swords to plows here is a play set a play set of disenchant probably I mean white really gives you the best removal in the whole old school game and of course he's also playing with the full blue power and probably a counter spell or two or three maybe even four in his deck so this is basically my knowledge of both of these decks uh, let's quickly go to game number one and uh, see how this matchup ends up Game number one with uh, the mono black player on the left and the robots player on the right. And look at that. It looks like Antoine, the robots player here, took a double uh, mulligan here. And that's a great start here from Louis with that Underworld Dreams. So that means that Antoine is taking some damage. And interesting here, that quick disenchant. White really gives you the answers that you need to these problems. And uh, look at that Library of Alexandria. And because of that brutal... Oh, this is great. Oh, my. <laughs> this is insane. I mean, what I wanted to say is because of the double mulligan, the Library of Alexandria is not as powerful. But, of course, there is that blue power. And Time Twister uh, puts, the, um, puts Antoine back online. So even though Louis had a crazy good start with a Dark Ritual and Underworld Dreams, which is basically one of his better uh, turn one plays, all is now... In the past it's water under the bridge and Antoine now has the advantage again with that active library of Alexandria playing a white knight here and there Antoine goes with his card advantage drawing an extra card it's now up to Louis to get rid of that library of Alexandria and I'm not sure if he plays with sinkholes like I said in the introduction I haven't seen the deck lists or any deck pictures so we'll have to do with my knowledge prior to this game and with what we see of course here and that's an attack another dark ritual and there is a disc so a disc is useful but oh there is a disenchant quick disenchant uh, what i wanted to say it's not going to solve the library of alexandria problem and there antoine drawing another extra card so extra card number two here and playing a triskelion And there is or the Kumbaya Witches, or I should say the Kumbaya, it's not Kumbaya, the Kumbash, the Kumbash Witches. 
Anyway, I'll just I'm just gonna call them Kumbaya witches, and I think they're really really cool. So that's the the black pinger, the black Timmy, and an attack here from the trike, and Louis decides not to block. So that means his first four damage is on sixteen, and another Triskelion here, and it's looking bad for the mono black player, playing another knight, and we're probably gonna see some. Uh, some pinging by the Triskelions here to get rid of at least one of the Black Knights. Attacking here first, interesting. Probably when blockers are declared. And I think that's what Louis is indicating right now, saying I want to block with both my Knights. And in response, he kills one of them before damage is dealt. And unfortunately, that also means that uh, Louis cannot use the Witches to kill the Triskelion because the Trike only got two damage. So that would make three damage in total, and it is a 4 4, so that's not going to work. And there's a Hypnotic Spectre, but it kind of looks like it's a little bit too late. And there's a Psy Blast. And there's so much firepower in this uh, Robots control deck here that Antoine is playing today. Attacking and there's a lot of damage here. Eight damage coming. Is he going to sacrifice his uh, witches? I mean, he doesn't have to yet, but remember those trikes also represent direct damage because it's also four counters in total now on the trike still representing four more damage. So technically he's only on four life now. Kind of needs a miracle here. And this is not the miracle. And there you go, mana drain. And that's a very quick game one. And I mean, thinking back of that opening hand and that opening play by Louis playing a Dark Ritual into an Underworld Dreams game one, and Antoine being on a double mulligan going down to five cards in hand, I would have said, okay, probably the Mono Black player is going to win this. But I mean, after that time twister, Antoine just took over the match. Um, so let's let these players sideboard and, sideboard and we'll, uh, we'll see them in game number two. Game number two is about to start and we have the mono black player on the play after losing the first game. And it's going to be interesting to see if uh, if mono black can make a fist here against this robots control deck. And um, it just, you know, adding white to the mix, it has so many answers. I mean, disenchant, I believe, is, is the best common in, in old school magic. But let's see what Louis can do here in this second game. And I believe he's taken a mulligan here, so he has to put a card on the bottom of his library. That's what he does. And look at this. This is the opening you want to have when you are a mono black player. Again, that Library of Alexandria. And look at this. Mox Pearl and a quick Swords to Plows here. So that means Louis is on 22 and his hand is pretty empty. And look at what he slams on the table. I mean... And it's pretty cool this, it's from his sideboard, I, I, I think at least, and it's a warp artifact, and warp artifact is an enchant artifact, and you put it on an artifact and the controller deals, gets one damage each turn. So it's it's pretty cool, it's pretty efficient. And there was a, a time when the warp artifact was pretty popular. You don't see it often now anymore, but I think it's, it's really nice. And attacking here with the Kumbaya Witches. And Antoine is now on 17 on 16 exactly forgot here to take damage putting his dice on the deck kind of to remind him playing a felwer stone and using the library of alexandra to draw an extra card here playing a mind twist but that doesn't really matter um i believe that for louis the tactic is now really just to inflict as much as much damage as possible before his opponent will start uh playing the fat creatures the triskelions and the suchis and we can kind of peek into his hand. It's, it's hard to see, but I don't believe I see a Suchi here. And playing a factory. Oh, there, okay, there is a Suchi. So there was, there was a Suchi. Uh, so there's the 4-4 creature. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to make it difficult for uh, Louis to keep attacking. Of course, he has these Kumbaya Witches. So that means that in theory, uh, there's a Disenchant on the Warp Artifact. I mean, ah, oh, man... That's too bad, that's too bad. Um, with the Kumbaya Witches uh, being able to ping the Suchi for two, he can attack with a factory, actually with both the factories. And um, this is interesting as well, he's pinging at end of turn because kind of he's ahead of the game. Playing another, and this is actually getting interesting, if he uh, now animates one of his factories, he can pump it up to a 4-4. So he's just attacking with the 2-2, I think that's a good move, waiting for his opponent to or declare blocks or do something. I, I, 
do believe I see there a Divine Offering in his hand, maybe also a Disenchant, and there is a Disenchant. And that's so difficult when you're playing against, uh, against uh, a player who's playing white. Those Disenchants are just so powerful. And there's the Abyss. And a quick <laughs> double damage here from Louis. Uh, but this is uh, this is pretty painful. I, I believe he, he's he's playing aggressively, and I think that's what you have to do. And that warp artifact was brilliant, but now it's looking uh, dire here for the mono black player. Although Antoine is on seven, I mean, you always hope to see these games that you know just keep going, but it's going to be really difficult here. Oh, and I'm liking this. Another warp artifact. I mean, this is for me is really the MVP of this matchup, even if he loses. Ah, uh, the counter spell. The counter spell. I mean, it's nice when you see players playing original cards. Or at least, let me rephrase cards that you don't see that often. I always like that. It kind of makes you rethink the game and um, trying to deal as much damage as possible using the witches. And I mean, an active Loa, that Abyss on the board, um, there are just too many options here. Attacking now with the factories, uh, or with the Suchi, and that's kind of showing as well that Antoine is probably holding some artifact removal into his hand, you know, because he knows that um, he can trade. And this is nice, actually, playing a Suchi off his own, but there is a defined offering. That means that he's even giving life to Antoine, you know. I mean, you got him on five, and now he just he had just just taken four life, and and look at this go. He, uh, Louis is going from eight to four, and that's game. Psionic blast, game. I mean, um, this deck was just a little bit too strong, too many answers, and of course, um, Antoine also had a great draw there with finding a Loa in both games and managing managing to get uh, it active in both games as well um, so well done and this was round two of the frost giant cup if you'd like to see more games from this tournament i already posted the round one game on the youtube channel so you can check out the playlist the frost giant cup playlist on the channel um, but also i'll be uh, posting weekly videos of the frost giant cup of rounds uh, i don't have round three actually something happened while i was streaming but i do have round four round five quarterfinals, semifinals, and the finals of this tournament. So keep an eye on the channel if you want to see the coverage of the entire tournament. Um, for now, thank you for watching. And if you'd like to support this channel, uh, you can do that by subscribing, by liking, and by leaving a comment. And of course, spreading the word. Tell people about the Timmy channel. That's very much appreciated. Uh, for now, thank you for watching. And see you next time. <laughs>